<laughs> Say hello to my subscribers right there. Uh, hey, we we part of the company. We we part of that guy right there. It's the best mechanic there. Yeah, and yeah, uh, uh, now he's an influencer. No. You too. <laughs> Serious. That's one of the best mechanics. Wait till that comes. Okay, what's up my guys? This is another video from Holmes Law. If you don't know, my name is Melvin, also known as Mel. And uh, this is another video here. We're gonna go by uh, doing another video on electrical calculations. But um, more specifically, we're going to be doing it on raceway calculations for different size wires and or insulations, okay? Now, if you don't know and you're new to the channel, please check out the, the channel. I have quite a few playlists, mostly on conduit bending. So if you wanna get your game tight, check out the playlists. All right, I have quite quite a few of them. Um, also, I have a playlist on uh, Casey Tool Unboxings. Um, like I said, this one here is for electrical calculations. It's a fairly new playlist. I, I believe I only have one other video on calculations and it's on, you know, a box fill calculation. But I'm gonna be adding more videos for different types of calculations that you'll be needing out there in the field. Uh, I'm gonna try to make them short and sweet. You know, my conduit bending uh, videos are pretty long only because I like to get into detail. You know, people need the details. If you want a short one on conduit bending, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of other videos out there for short ones. The ones that I make, I like to go step by step so that new people can actually, you know, grasp and understand how to bend conduit. Without further ado, let's get busy. Let's get down to this, okay? I'm gonna try to make this one a very simple and concise video. Now, to set up our environment here, we are looking to run a EMT conduit, okay? We're trying to find the size conduit that we need, okay? So we know that we wanna run EMT, okay? But we just don't know what size EMT we want to run, okay? Now, I'm not going to get into the code and what tables to get and all that. I will shout out the code, the tables that you need to go to in the code. But as far as this video is going to be on how to do a quick raceway calculation for with DeWalt electrical reference, the 2017, or the uglies, okay? I'm going to show you how to do the actual calculation with either one of these books, all right? Now, like I said, we have... We want to run EMT, okay, and we have three different circuits that we want to run, okay? We want to run a lighting circuit, a receptacle circuit, and we have a circuit also for a motor, okay? A three-phase induction motor that we want to run all in the same conduit, okay? Just bear with me. This is the environment and that's the actual example, okay? Bear with me. Now, for the actual... 120 volt receptacle. Okay, let me zoom in here. Let me move this out the way so you can actually see that better. Okay, for the actual 120 volt receptacle, okay, we're running two 12 gauge THHN wires. Okay, no ground. We're running in an EMT. Just bear with me. Okay, you can either run the, the ground or not. For this example, we're not running any ground for that actual circuit, okay? Now for the lighting circuit, okay, we have another 120 volt circuits for the lights. We're running two 12 gauge THHN, same thing, 12 gauge wire, THHN, all right? Now for the motor circuit, okay, it's gonna be a three phase 208 volt circuit, okay? We're running three 10 gauge wires, okay, THHN, and we're gonna we're gonna run a ground with that as well okay a number 10 yes okay you can either run the ground or not for this example we're running the ground for the motor okay that's just for this example all right on the field you can figure out your own calculation all right now all together okay what you want to do is those are your three circuits okay and the first thing you want to do, let me zoom out. The first thing you want to do is figure out the size of these cables, okay? So for 12 gauge, you want to go to actual, you want to find out the square inches of your 12 gauge and your 10 gauge wires, 
Okay, that's the first thing you want to do. Okay, so for the uglies book, you want to go to page 98. Okay, you want to go to page 98, which is right here. And you want to find THHN 12 gauge. Okay, which this is the section right here on page 98. And you want to find 12 gauge. And you want to find the square inches, which is going to be 0 0.0133 square inches you want to write that down okay which we already did we have it written down already right here okay 0 0.0133 square inches okay next we already have the square inches for the for the um it's the same thing for the um lighting circuit it's going to be the same thing okay because we're using the same insulation now, if they were different insulations, you would go and look 12 gauge, whatever other insulation you're using. Okay? Simple. Now, we only have the 208 volt motor circuit that we want to look for. We want to find the 10 gauge square inch dimension. Okay? So, we're going to look that up as well, which is in the same area. Page 98 of your uglies. And you're going to go under the 10 and see that it's 0 0.0211. You're going to also write that down. Okay. You're going to write that down, which we have it right here. Okay. 211 square inches. Okay. So now that you have your two actual values for your 12 gauge THHN and for your 10 THHN, you want to take account of all the wires that you have for 12 gauge and what you have for 10 gauge. Okay, so now for 12 gauge, you have four wires. Okay, you have two for the receptacle and two for the lighting. Okay, so we're going to do our little calculation here, which is simple. You're going to take the value that you had that you just looked up on page 98. Okay, which is 0 0.0133 okay for your square inches okay times how many conductors you have two and two so that's four and that comes out to 0 0.532 like how i have here okay uh, we already did the calculation for you times four equals 0 0.0532 next you want to go to your other size y that you have which is going to be number tens okay and for your number tens if i'm correct the value is 0 0.0211 okay and we're going to multiply that by four again why we have three conductors because it's three phase okay plus the ground which is the same insulation and the same size the same gauge okay and we're going to, so that we're going to multiply that by four, which equals 0 0.0844. Okay. Which is exactly what we have here. Okay. I did that for you. So we have 0 0.0211 times four, which gave us 0 0.0844. Okay. We want to add those two values up, the 12 gauge value, what we calculated, and the 10 gauge, what we calculated, all together. We want to add those two values together, which is going to give us 0.1376, okay? So now, we want to go to our next table, okay? which is going to be in the uglies book page 101 okay 101 which is going to give you the dimensions of your conduit okay the square inch dimensions of your conduit which we are looking for emt okay and if you go to 101 you're going to find emt right on the top now, if you need another type of raceway, you can find it from, you know, all in this section. I believe it's one, two, three. I believe it's two pages with all the different types of raceways. Okay. 
but you it'll EMT is gonna be right on the first page on the top so EMT we want to find something that's gonna fit our value of point 1376 so we're gonna go to the EMT section okay we're gonna go to the EMT section and we are going to look in our section which is over two wires okay because we have more than two wires don't forget you want to go under that 40% column if you have more than two wires Okay, depending on what you have here. Most of the time when you're running race where you're gonna have more than two wires. If, okay, if you have one wire or two wires, you know, we're gonna take care of that on another video. But for right now, if you have more than two wires, you're gonna go under this column, 40% column for over two wires. Don't forget that. So you wanna look under this column and our value is 1376. So we wanna find something that's gonna either be equal to or over 11376 which half inch EMT is not good enough we have 0.122 for that the next one is 0.213 which is going to be perfect for our value of 1376 it's going to be perfect for our 412 gauge and for our 410 gauge okay so the answer is going to be a three-quarter EMT is going to suffice for our eight conductors, 12 and 10 gauge. Okay? Now, that's how you do a raceway calculation with the Uglies book. All right? This is your 2020. So, you're going to be using page 98 to figure out the size dimension of the actual wires. Okay? And then page 101 is going to give you your um, the size of the actual raceways. Okay, so this is 98 and then 101. If I were you, I would tab it out the way that I have it tabbed out if you have this book. Now for the actual DeWalt book, which is my favorite, okay, you are going to go to pages... 314 to find the actual 314 and 15 to find the actual size of the wire the square inch dimension of the wire okay which will be right after this page i have it highlighted too okay it'll give you the dimensions so for our actual 12 gauge THHN it would actually be all the way down here okay I have them highlighted the 12 and the 10 you have 0133 okay which is page 314 I even wrote go to 215 for the raceway you know the raceways when I actually finish my calculation that's where I would have to go to next which is going to be here I have it tabbed out okay and we have EMT, all the sizes, okay, right here. But I would go under the 40% column, okay, which is this column right here for over two wires. Another video, I'll show you how to do calculations for one, uh, one cable in case you want to do run a piece of Romex inside of a, a conduit, an EMT, or a rigid pipe. I'll show you how to do that calculation. Okay, in another video. But this is how you use the, the Uglies or the DeWalt reference books to do a raceway calculation for different size wires. Okay, for different size wires or different insulations. Okay, you need to do the calculation, even if you have the same size wires but you have different uh, different insulation sizes, you know, the, the, the sizes might be a little different, you know, so you might wanna still check up on it and do the calculation anyway, even if you have the different insulations, all right? And um, that's basically it, guys. If you have any other video requests, please send me, you know, a comment or uh, look me up on Facebook and you can send it there. 
But very important note, <clears throat> after you are done with this calculation, that's only one of the steps. I'm not gonna get into it in this video, but you need to know how to do an ampacity adjustment, also known as derating, okay? You need to know and you have to derate if you have more than three wires in your raceway, okay? So from four wires and up, you need to do a derating. So for this actual situation here where we have eight wires, we would need to do a derating, okay? <clears throat> Which I'm gonna use the uglies book, the actual DeWalt book for this actual example. Okay, and let me find it for you. Which, right here, we would have to do a calculation depending on how many conductors we have. In our example, we have eight, so we would use the seven to nine situation here and use the percentage for the seven to nine, which would be 70%. I'm not going to get into that, but you would need to use this percentage and, and actually calculate to figure out what the new opacity is going to be. Like I said, look out for that video. I will do a video on that next. And um, that's basically it, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Please send me any video requests at you know Facebook, Instagram, or you can make a comment here on YouTube. Once again, thanks for watching. Peace out, guys.